always tired of your toys breaking and won't function properly anymore. Or toys that are probably too dangerous for your child to use. Or toys that lose your interest after playing it for the first time. Well, now you're in luck. Say hello to the ping pong launcher. With this neat toy, you can enjoy endless hours of fun. The ping pong launcher uses very light and sturdy ping pong balls to launch the projectile up into the air. If it were to hit someone, they would barely feel it due to Newton's second law of motion. Our toy is very simple to use, and anyone should be able to pick it up and play with it following these four steps. Step 1. Pull the rubber band back to the clothespin. Step 2. Remove the ball from the storage slot. Step 3. Place the ball on the launching ramp. And Step 4. Release the clothespin to launch your ball. The ping pong launcher comes equipped with an angle indicator, indicating the angle at which you launch the ball at. Different ball displacements can be achieved by shooting the launcher at varying degrees, such as 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees from the horizontal. Games such as target practice put you up to the test if you can accurately hit the target X from a set distance away. The ball can launch away up to 4 meters from a shot taken at 45 degrees. One thing we made sure when calculating the displacement of the ball was the height at which it was launched at was the same as the target's height. The target itself is a red X. Hit the red X and you're granted 10 points. Hitting the white area around the X will give you 5 and missing the target completely will give you 0 points. The launcher itself is made out of two pieces of plywood the body, and the cross arm. Two eye bolts are screwed into place on top of the cross arm, and then a rubber band is fastened into place into the eye bolt. The clothespin itself is nailed right on top of the launcher, so removing it is quite difficult. A free body diagram is illustrated to display the forces the ball experiences as it is launched from the ramp. The ball experiences external forces such as air resistance, it is true that there is friction between the ball and the ramp, but the ping pong ball is so smooth that the friction between the two surfaces are negligible. The toy works by taking the tensional force from the rubber band and puts that energy into the ping pong ball. The ball is thrown up into the air and is given some potential energy. Some energy is lost due to air resistance as it travels through its path of trajectory. Also, the ping pong balls will also glow in the dark if you feel the need to play it during the night. So that's about it for the toy. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and have fun with the toy.